Hi everyone, Letty here. Welcome to day 31 of my Christmas in July crafty series. Today I'm gonna make some easy ink splatter cards using some Tim Holtz inks. Welcome back everyone. So for hashtag PPP Christmas in July today, I'm gonna make some ink splatter cards. I had recently participated in the four at 4K giveaway hop. If you have not checked that out, definitely do so. I'll link my video down below. Um, I made these cards as part of the hop. It was to celebrate four YouTubers that had hit the milestone of 4,000 subscribers. So today I've already brought out some inks. I'm gonna do some, but Christmas style. I This is the die set that I used and I do have an Amazon affiliate link that I'll link down below for you just in case you're looking for the same one. I've got four inks. I've already got my card bases ready to go with the silver cardstock matting that I'm using. I already have my sentiments, sending holiday cheer. It came from this Christmas lights IO stamp set to that I had in my stash. So those are the two items that I, I have already prepped. I'm going to do the ink, ink splatters on camera today with you. I've got barn door and then I've got lumberjack plaid. These are all Tim Holtz inks. And then I've got mowed lawn. And then I also have the Rustic Wilderness. So these are four inks that I have in my stash. I'm gonna do the ink splatters on camera today, just like I did in my last video. Like I said, if you have not seen that, I will definitely link it down below. Um, it was a hop and giveaway celebrating four YouTubers that had hit the milestone of 4,000 subscribers. It was Kendra, Lynn, Sierra, and Amanda. So again, I'll link that video down below in case you haven't seen it. I also kind of talk through, in that video, I talk through the process of how I um, made these ink splatter cards and so as you see here i'm just taking it one color at a time starting with sort of like the lighter color which in this case would have been the lighter red and then i go into the darker red and then i'm going to go into the lighter green and then i'm going to end it with the darker green and so i just sort of add some ink to the little block add a little bit of water since these are water reactive and then i splatter them onto my card mats that are die cut and then i also uh go ahead and do some smooshing right on top just with whatever leftover ink the pigment that i have left on my little acrylic block so it's a super easy process again i'll link that video down below i just wanted to take a moment just to say thank you for anybody who has watched any of my christmas in july videos i appreciated you watching those videos leaving me the comments i'm gonna spend the month of august trying to get caught up on all those comments thank you so much i hope you enjoyed this series i hope you had a ton of fun and i hope you got a ton of inspiration for some christmas crafty uh, crafts throughout the month that you can use for the remainder of the year till we hit christmas and so here is just a quick close-up of what my card mats are going to look like. I will go ahead and finish these off camera and come back for the final recap. So for today, I have the Easy Ink Splatter cards. I've already made them. I use those Tim Holtz Distress inks, and I also used a die from Amazon, which I can link down below for you. And then I used a stamp set that was in my stash by IO uh, Stamps. And so that's just one that I had, but you could pretty much use any sentiment. Um, and so these are the cards that I made. Again, just some easy ink splatter and ink smushing cards one of the things that makes this a little different is i did bring in some glossy accents to make it super shiny you can see here it really really shines i also popped up the sentiment with a little bit of dollar tree foam dimensional tape just to kind of give it some additional depth and so i really like the look of the glossy accents on this you can kind of tell it looks like wet paint i absolutely love the look of the glossy accents on top of ink splatter like this i've done this for a while and i think it's just one of my favorite looks whenever i'm using uh inks like this and so if you have not ever tried glossy accents you definitely should give it a try i do have an amazon link down below for you as well you could check it out look at the specs see if you can find it at your local store or just order it straight from amazon so again i hope you are enjoying this series this is the last day uh, for this year's series again this was an ink splatter card um, using some tim holtz inks and again this was for hashtag ppp christmas in july which was my crafty series where i released a christmas crafty video every day in the month of july today was the last day so again thank you everyone who joined in all month long here's a link to my christmas crafty playlist just in case you want to go back and rewatch all or any of the videos happy holiday crafting